Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve. Today let's go through legal problem 1663, smallest string with the given numeric value. Let's take a look. The numeric value of a lowercase character is defined as its position, one indexed. So it's starting from one instead of zero in the alphabet, which makes sense because it's in the alphabet. So one up to 26, all of the 26 lowercase English letters. So the numeric value of A is one, the numeric value of B is two of three of C is three and so on, right? The numeric value of a string consisting of lowercase characters is defined as the sum, as the sum of its characters numeric values. For example, the numeric value of the string ABE is equal to one is two, one is A, right? Two is B, five is E, A, B, C, D, E, E is five, right? So one plus two plus five is eight. So that is why the numeric value of this string ABE is eight. It's just a sum of all of its characters, corresponding values add up, right? So you are given two integers n and k, return the lexicographically smallest string with length equal to n and numeric value equal to k. It's kind of confusing, you understand. Let's take a look at the example. n equals to three, k equals to k, and the output is aay. This is unique. It's guaranteed there is only one unique distinctive value answer to the given problem. The numeric value of the string is 1 plus 1 plus 25 is 26, 27. That is, matches k. k is 27. That, that is what k denotes for. And it is the smallest string with such a value and length equal to 3. So this is what the n stands for. n stands for the length of the output, right? It's 3. It has 3 characters in this given output. All right. This is what it means. It cannot be anything like ABC. Will ABC work? No. ABC adds up to what? 1 plus 2 plus 3. That adds up to 6. So K is 26 in this case. That means ABC is not a valid answer. Although it's lexicographically, lexicographically smaller than AAY, but it's not a... No, ABC is not lexicographically smaller, but AAA is lexicographically smaller. But AAA, the numeric value of the string AAA is only 3, right? A plus um, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is only 3, but the K here is 27. So AAA is not correct. Only AAY is correct. That is because the numeric value adds up to 27, which is K. That is what the problem is asking us for. Let's take a look at the, sec at the second example, which is 5 and 73. So the lexicographically smallest string with the length of 5 is AASZZ. It is this one. Okay, I hope it makes sense. It has a total length of 5, and all of these characters they add up to 73, and this is the smallest, lexicographically smallest. Why? Well, just to put the smallest letters first. So lexicographically smaller. Here is a kind of small um, quick definition or explanation. Know that a string x is lexicographically smaller than string y if x comes before y in dictionary order. That is, that means a comes before b, b comes before c, right? So a is lexicographically smaller than b. That's what it means. That is either x is a prefix of y or if i is in the first position such that xi not equal to yi, then xi comes before yi in alphabetical order. Okay, so you see here we got all of these five characters and it's sorted. It's sorted, right? Because this is guaranteed to give us the lexicographically small, smallest. What if you put zzsaa? If you put zz first aa in the last, that's going to give us a much lexicographically larger string, right? So you can see every single character in this given string, it's sorted alphabetically. That's going to guarantee to give us the smallest lexicographically. So back to this problem, we know n is the length of the string. So let's talk about, now let's talk about how we can approach this problem. So n we know is going to be the length of the entire string. Of course, we're going to use a string builder to map to find all of the proper characters that we can piece together and find the lexicographic smallest string to return. But how do we get there? The way that things, the way, the idea that occurred to me is pretty natural, which is that we can just think of one extreme case, which is kind of a corner case, which is n equals to 10 and k equals 10 to 10 as well. That means we need to find, well, that's kind of not a super straightforward example. See, 
um, n equals to, uh, to 5 and k equals to 5 as well. So let's think one extreme case, which is this is going to the smallest lexical graphic, the smallest, or possibly the unique only answer is a, 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 a. This is the lexical graphic, the smallest, right? So what if the n is still 5, but k becomes 6? What is, let's just in, induce one step at a time so that it, it becomes easier to understand. If k changes from 5 to 6, right? In this case, what what's the le lexical graphic, the smallest string? If k is 5, we know this one is the lexical graphic, the smallest, right? So if k is incre incremented by 1, what would this be? It would be a, 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 b, right? And we would put b in the last. We are not going to put b in here, or we are not going to put b in here. This, neither of these two last strings are not the lexicographic smallest, right? Because we need to sort every single character in the given string alphabetically. That's going to give us the lexicographic smallest. So back to this extreme example, we know if k is six in this case, then this one is the lexicographic smallest. Okay, let's just increase this one to seven. Then this one becomes C. If this one is eight, this one becomes D, right? So what if this K is larger than 26 or 30 something? That means this one, the last one is guaranteed to be Z. And then this one might be changed into B or F or something else, right? If this one is greater than, say, 26 or 30, right? So this is the this is the kind of the gotcha moment, right? How we can approach this problem is basically we can first we want to find if this k is greater than n. If it is smaller than if it is if it equals to n, right? K equals to n, and then we'll just append every single character as a into the string and just return. That's it. If it's greater if this k is greater than n we just find the possible, or just as we'll, we'll try to form as many z, as many later, as many larger characters as possible, and then we append them to the end, right? Of course, we um, while we do this, we'll just append everything in the beginning, and in the in the end, we'll just do a string builder dot reverse dot to string. That's it. So we we'll try. The idea is to try to form as many larger characters as possible if it's if it's necessary, and then we just keep appending, and then in the end we do a reverse. That's it. That's the idea. I hope it makes sense. Now let's put the idea into the actual code. First, we'll have a string builder. String builder. Oops. Next, I'll have a balance, which is the one that we care about because we'll start from the the end, which is going to be the beginning in the code, right? So while balance is greater than zero, that means we need to we still need to form form new characters. We're trying to find new characters to match up to add up to this total k, right? So as long as balance, remember a equals to one, right? So in the numeric value of the lowercase English letters is a equals to one. So we want to make sure that as long as balance is greater than 25, why 25? Because we reserve one for the for the lowercase letter a, right? As long as if balance is greater than 25, we just keep appending, we know one plus 25 is 26, 26 mapped to the letter z, so that we can safely append z to the string builder. Right, so we'll decrement this balance by 25 and then append append a z to this and also we'll decrement n because n is just a, a number that means we have formed one character right we append one z to the stream builder and n is the total length of the target stream that we're trying to form that means we have formed one else that means else that means balance is already lower 
less than 25 that means we we cannot form we don't need to form a z and we cannot form a z anymore we can find any characters that is less than z because this is the last character that is not going to be an a if there is any right for the rest it's all going to be a else we'll just form a string char a plus balance so this is the way to do it in java so we we can use a character plus an integer and then do a char conversion to convert it into a char and then we'll just append this this is remember this is a char and we are appending and a string so i'll just attach an empty string to it this so that it can this function this api own through a compile error and then we'll also and minus one and so at this point we have found all of the letters that are none a so while at this point we can do if n is greater than zero all that we can do is well all that we need to do is we need to keep appending a to this yeah it can attach characters so i don't think this is needed and then we'll just keep decrementing n so in after this while loop is finished remember we need to break out because at this point we don't need to check balance anymore right and then in the end we'll just return string reverse to string all right this is the entire idea now let me hit run code to see if there's any compile error hopefully not all right there's none now let me hit submit yeah accept it looks cool seven and 78 percent not super impressive let's give it one more shot seven one no seven time complexity isn't very impressive let's see ah not super impressive yeah anyway but this is the idea of this problem as soon as you figure out that we need to form as many larger characters as possible and as necessary then we'll just attach it after that after after that we'll just find all of the we'll just attach we'll just append all of the a's lowercase a's to this and then do a reverse dot to string that's it hopefully this video helps people understand this problem if it does please do me a favor and hit the like button that's going to help me a lot i really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i have accumulated quite a lot of different videos to talk about data structures algorithm bfs dfs you name it or cloud computing amazon web services how you can prepare and pass AWS certification exams videos like that feel free to check them out hopefully i'll just see you guys in a few short seconds in my other videos thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one